Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 12, lesson 9, volume of our prisms. Page number is 955. Before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, so let us start today's lesson, volume of prisms. Uh, you guys know about the prism from the previous lesson, lesson 7, okay? So today we will talk about the volume of prisms. So volume actually uh, is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional figure, okay? I told you in the last lesson that when you have a, a two-dimensional figure, we just have length and width. But when we have three dimensional figures and we are finding the volume, so we have length times width times height. Okay. In two dimensional figures, when we were finding area, we were multiplying length with the width. Okay. And we were writing our answer in terms of square. Like if the units are meter, meter square. If the unit is inch, inch is square, like that. But here, to find the volume of three dimensional figure, we have to multiply length times width times height. And as we have three uh, attributes, so what we will do, we will write our answer in term of cube, like cubic inch or uh, cubic meter. Okay, so let me show you how here. Let's say this one. It's width is 15 inches, length is 30 inches, and height is 20 inches. So you guys know we have to multiply length times width times height 30 times 15 times 20 which is 9000 okay and how we write our answer because you can see the unit is inches one two and three three inches so we will write it this way 9000 cubic inches or there is another way like we were writing area uh, let me show you you can write it like this also, 9,000 and then you can write int and a small 3 above it which is showing cube, 9,000 inches cube, okay? Or other way, 9,000 cubic inches. Whenever we write volume because we are multiplying 3 units, so we write cube. In area, we were multiplying 2 units. So that's why we were writing square. Okay, I hope you guys understand this point. Let us move to the next page. Okay, here. Length times width times height. 17 times 7 times 9. 7, 10, 9, 63, and 17 times 63, 1073. So it is centimeter, 3 units, so we write centimeter cube because it is volume. Okay, let us go down to the guided practice. 11 times 7 times 9, it is millimeter, so millimeter cube. The same thing again here, 6 times 4 times 12. 6 times 4, 24, and then they times it by 12, 288 feet, 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 so feet Q. Okay. Uh, do we have another question down here? No, we don't have. Okay. The same thing again, 3 times 2 times 4, 24 inches cube, 26 times 12 times 3, 936 centimeter cube okay because we are finding volume 11 times 11 times 11 1331 inches cube 9 meters times 23 meters times 16 meters that is 3312 meters cube okay down here they told you about the base they already found the area you see this is the area of this base got it guys what they did actually they multiplied the length and the width okay then uh, it's 108 
centimeter square. You'll multiply this 108 with this 9 and you will write your answer in cube because you found the volume. Got it? The same thing again here. They give you the area. Okay, 90 feet square. Whenever you see the square, it means it is an area. Okay, and whenever you see this cube, it means it is volume. So 990 feet, multiply this 99 with 11 and 990 feet cube. Okay, let us move to the next one here. Find the volume of the Frog Quinn building in Grays, Australia. The building is 18 meters long. 17 meters tall and 18 meters wide to find the area of the building what you guys will do 18 meters long and 18 meters wide 18 times 18 uh, it will be a square area okay so then you'll multiply it by 17 with the height you'll find 5508 and meters cube okay for For area, it's uh, square, and for cube, it's cube. Uh, for volume, it's cube. Okay, here. Two packages are in the shape of rectangular prism. Circle the package that has the similar volume. So, of course, uh, smaller volume. Smaller volume. This is the smallest one. So, of course it has the smaller volume i hope you guys understand the lesson don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and also send me the homeworks through pioneer if anyone's uh, pioneer is still not working he can send me through edmodo have a nice day thank you so much guys